day of crappy painting. Um, quickly before we go, let me try showing off some new stuff. So, first thing is you might notice that there's some tapering lines here, which is sort of a new thing. We now got pressure on desktop windows um, I haven't tested on Mac yet but it's working on Windows I I tried it on Android and iOS but it doesn't seem to work on those yet gotta do some more investigation but hey it's a start I'm not sure about tilt yet either but at least we got pressure hey Jaden good morning Okay, so aside from that, we also have T, no, sorry, not T, P is our stats. So we have the, the pie here shows what your ratio is of, of each different tool. Is your so basement or right now we're using a lot of fill, or you know sorry, circle, but, I know you know, let's say I do a bunch green, of hot pink, fill gradients. That is a nice shade of white, though. Now you know, it's see. easy to recycle your this leftover fill gradient paint, is taking up most of the proportion. Most paint care and then this right here is um, take back leftover paint. this green line on the bottom is a histogram, the rest. Find a drop -off site which near is for, or not a histogram, I don't know what it's called, but it's it's just the values of the painting um, arranged in proportion. So it, here it looks like we've got mostly mid-tone strokes and then like let's see if I if I get a bunch of bright strokes in here let's see um, let's do a whole bunch of fills really bright and see what happens so if I press P now I think these are the bright values up here let me go a little bit brighter yeah so th this is the brightest and then this is the lowest value here. So this needs to be, of course, polished and made more clear. Maybe this line will change color depending on the value. But I think this could be cool to check the proportion of values in your paintings. And maybe we could do the same thing for like warm versus cool and all that good stuff. Anyway, yeah, stats, fun. And uh, Jaden, yeah, there, there definitely will be options for pressure, like to turn it off and everything. Um, this is just like literally a couple minutes ago <laughs> added in. So yeah, we'll have it, we'll have it all. Anyway, let's let's see. So yeah, that's the little progress report. I also updated the Android version yesterday with the. Uh, bunch of these hot keys and stuff so if you're on Android you, you'll be able to press shift I think it is and spacebar and control to get you know your eyedropper and all that good stuff doing a painting demo? No, I didn't know that. That's cool. When is that? Oops. April something. That's cool. Yep. He's He's a monstrous painter. He's very fast.
So down here, I think it becomes more... Uh, it's really tough to tell what color that is. It's the kind of stuff that just kills me. Is it, is it like a little bit lighter gray? And then what? Orange. More saturated. Green, I think. Okay, and then it should get darker. No life, no life, no life. Yeah, this is from Pinterest here. That gets pretty dark. So, yeah, let's see if this pressure works. useless in this case.
GD strip. Just the regular Godot stuff. It works pretty good. I mean, there's nothing really I need to use C4. Insulin affordability is a priority. The Lilly Diabetes Solution Center can help the uninsured and those in high deductible health plans. More at lilly.com. Weekends just got better with brunch at Yard House. Join us Saturdays and Sundays to enjoy our delicious brunch menu with new dishes and $15 bottomless beverages. To find a Yard House serving brunch near you, visit yardhouse.com. Is GD script robust in terms of accessing graphics? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's enough enabled to do this kind of stuff. What kind of graphics are you trying to do? Abandoned ship thing going for sure. Um, yeah, Ian McHugh. He used heavy paint for like on during Christmas time. He used it for a little bit. He seemed to be really on a tear with it. And then he, I don't know why he stopped, but <laughs> it was exciting while it lasted. Yeah, like on Christmas break, he posted. 10 paintings in one Twitter thread. It was crazy. Nice computer. Oh, yeah. My computer is pretty trusty. That sounds fun. That's probably a good skill to have. Anatomy. 
wonder if Kirk is in here. He could probably quiz you. Air, uh, sorry, eyedropper less today so I can get a little more variety. So instead of just picking that color, maybe I'll just try to remake it. Love that alchemy tool, yep. Big fan of alchemy right here. I used to love that program. I wish they didn't stop working on it. It was sweet. I guess I can't resist my uh, eyedropper. Sucker.
Let me try copying this a little bit. Actually, the thing, the one thing I've noticed, the biggest change I've noticed is that I'm uh, more willing to talk to people, just random people in the street or, you know, people I already know, just, I'm just more talkative in general, that's the biggest thing. The paintings, I don't know if they've gotten any better. Maybe I'm a little bit, I'm going a bit faster now than the first day. I think the first week each painting was like two hours long. But they, they were more detailed, I think. I've been a little bit lazy lately. So far, I don't, I don't know if anyone's found the, the secret black and white feature. I mean, I know you guys know about it already, but... Well, I guess I should probably officially announce the uh, Android version being out. So people can try it. I don't do that when this being is done. stories like way crazier stories than what I have so you know for some reason I always just assume that people in general are just like I don't know that they just have boring lives and whatever but actually 
I think most people have like some crazy shit has happened to them. And, or they're just people are just more interesting to me. Now, I don't know why. You know what I mean? That's 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 my feel, my ear right there. That's those are the beats I chose because that's me right there. Maybe I just need to go out and live a little bit. I need I need some better stories. All my stories are like from middle school or high school or I feel like what you know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't ever get into trouble anymore. <laughs> Any ideas for new brushes? Yeah, I'm trying to get um, something like fill gradient, but uh, pressure sensitive, so that like the opacity is pressure sensitive. Still experimenting though. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't I don't really have super crazy stories. Maybe the only I don't know, stupid thing like I got in a fight with this one guy one time. We were painting churches and we were really high up on these ladders, like up on the third story of this church, painting a window and then got into a fight while we were on these ladders somehow and then he started climbing down the ladder really fast and like he was gonna come over and probably knock over my ladder so I had to go down and then, but that's not even really a story it's just the thing that happened you can take on anything what's your warrior find out at goarmy.com I don't really have any good stories. Do you have any good stories, Colby? What's your, what's your best story? heat was getting to us. It was super hot summer. Just like horrible. Yeah, if anybody in here has some crazy, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? Or like to one of your friends or something. once at 2.30 with my friend and we pulled out our knives when we reached an area with a lot of bushes because we thought somebody would jump us. Dang, okay. Don't uh, startle Jaden when he's out at night. <laughs> he might shank you. <laughs> One 
time I was at the beach um, at night with some friends and this guy came up to us and he was like talking all about how he used to be in Guantanamo Bay and he used to have a family and all this stuff and then and he was like crying and drunk and then he just jumped into the water and started swimming into the night and he just kept swimming and swimming until he disappeared it was totally pitch black we couldn't see him anymore and it was like i don't know 15 minutes or so and we we're like where is this guy <laughs> we started to get really scared we're like did he just like commit suicide or something and then but then he popped up he, he popped up he came back it was it was strange though Seems like he could be a character in a movie or something. If you don't have a crazy thing that happened, what about a really, a really dumb thing that you did one time? What's the dumbest thing you've ever done? We dared our friend once to cross a small ice pond and he broke the ice when crossing. Holy shit. Did he almost drown? It's, it's, yeah, that's one of those. A lot of people drown, man. A lot of kids drown. <laughs> it's really, really sucks. What 
is this a three step pond? I don't, what does that mean? to walk across the pond. Oh, okay. It's like a puddle then. <laughs> Let's see. Colby says, the dumbest thing I've done is probably not okay to share. Back in the school, my friends and I got robbed at a party and we ended up going to the house of the guy that robbed us and reciprocated the act and ended up having retarded beef with the guy for a long ass time. Or doing mushrooms with my mom. Wow, okay. We got some some uh, psychedelic people in here. Nice. Um, and you're so you rob the guy back on the same day or a different day? And did he? So he know he knew you had robbed him back. I'm confused. This is. So you knew him. Wait. How did you find out who it was that robbed you? So you knew who it was, and then you went and got revenge, and then after you got revenge, then they just hated you, and you, did it keep going back and forth, like, over time, or was that the end of it? somebody and then you know it all boils over you get into like this huge fight or something and then and then right after that you end up being becoming friends with them you know what I mean 
that happen to you guys? I mean, I guess, yeah, like, what happened with four games? An asshole, but it's okay. We already we already did our little fight thing. I never got a chance to do that with that that idiot guy, um, Eddie, with the ladder. I still hate him. Talking to a friend. Oh man, that's sketchy. Yeah. I kind of feel like, at least in America, like the driving age is 16. It's a bit young. Like the way that I drove and some of my friends drove like complete idiots and we probably should have died but we were lucky you know maybe eight, maybe 18 or I don't know 16 is just eh. Las tradiciones y los recuerdos más importantes comienzan en casa. Es un espacio donde la familia puede compartir. Y aunque somos muy unidos, todos tenemos estilos muy diferentes. Es por eso que vamos a Ashley Home Store, donde podemos encontrar estilos para todos. Por la familia. Ashley Home Store. Tu casa, tu hogar. Weekends just got better with brunch at Yard House. Join us Saturdays and Sundays to enjoy our delicious brunch menu. New dishes, $15 bottomless beverages. To find a Yard House serving brunch near you, visit yardhouse.com. the kids um, in school in Detroit would get robbed all the time because it was kind of a rough neighborhood and it was like I think one kid they came uh, and stole everything from his dorm or his apartment or whatever and then they put everything into his car and drove the car away. <laughs> that a car got stolen in front of the police station too. 
And then also... What's happening? Oh, one kid. Uh, my friend, he... He was at uh, some house party and then the... Somebody was trying to steal stuff, I guess, from the party, and then... Anyway, anyway, what happened is, like, people had to lock the door. They locked themselves inside the house, and then there was a guy outside trying to get in, and then he was also outside, and then that guy, like, was hitting him on the back of the head while he was trying to get out of some stupid... I'm not remembering that properly. And what else happened? Detroit. Yeah, in Detroit, all the gas stations and all the, um, like every single store in that downtown area was like, uh, Super, super thick glass, like subways, Little Caesar, all the gas stations, it's all bulletproof uh, glass everywhere. And then the Coney Dog place, the hot dog place, had security <laughs> because I think somebody got stabbed at the hot dog place. But I heard Detroit's much nicer now. It, it is kind of a very... Like, you can feel that it was a very beautiful city at one point, and then it kind of just fell apart. But it definitely has, like, it has the remnants of a really great city. It has the bones. One time we were just um, working late at night in the dorm and then we look out the window and there's like two cars at the stoplight, like a car and a big white SUV and then all of a sudden like four guys get out of the SUV and we hear I think gunshots and glass breaking and then the car like just peels out. <laughs> <laughs> and they were ahead of stop. Uh, yeah, just in the middle of the night, they, this, this car just gets shot at.
most of the boys in the locker room would spray full cans of X spray. Oh no, that's horrible. <laughs> I hate that smell. Any favorite resources on constructional drawing besides Scott Robertson? Kirk has a perspective drawing class. You can check out Kirk. The Kirk shot. What do you think about not being creative enough for working in concept art? What does that mean? I don't understand. You don't actually have to be creative to work in concept art or viz dev, to be honest. Because usually people will tell you what to do. It's not like you have to make up things. Yeah, don't worry about that, because you're not the one coming up with ideas. The uh, director or the art director or whoever is probably going to be somebody tell it, giving you ideas. So, yeah, you don't have to be creative at all. Don't you just gather all the references? Yeah, you don't even have to gather references sometimes if the uh, if you got a good art director, they might even give you reference and then you just uh, do whatever they tell you to do. Ah, okay, I want to get this fade coming to it towards the back, so let's just pick that, go fill gradient, and stick it in there, boom, 
And same thing up here on the top corner. I think it's getting darker from this top corner. And my drawing is not matching exactly, so I'll just try to imagine what's happening here. And then we can clean up this edge. if you use mostly blender on your recent stuff has there ever been an instance where you have to learn other software no i'm just using blender lately and i've been noticing a lot more people are asking for blender specifically lately like this year i've gotten a few um job offers like that specifically wanted blender which is a nice change because i'm used to always using a program that nobody wants and they're always like why are you using this and it's nice to finally be on the right side of things for once i learned from youtube and uh, the internet. I think I need to be less literal with this stuff here. I'm gonna try... I think um, I've got all my main colors in, so maybe I, I'm allowed to switch now to something different. I've eaten all my vegetables.
But I guess it's useful for like getting corners a little bit. And today on my show, I got oh. I kind of forgot what it's like to paint with pressure. Feels weird. I'd like to vacay. Uh, I've never been to Asia at all. I'd like to go to Japan or somewhere.
Get ready for a powerful performance. This is the 2020 Nissan Altima, and this is Nissan's first production variable compression turbo engine. Hurry into your local Nissan mm, store and shop at Nissan.com at school. today. Hmm. I really hated writing essays. Geometry, geometry was one of my favorites. I also didn't like Spanish class that much. I think, in general, I don't, I don't like language that much. And uh, I really used to hate art history class. But I think that was mostly.
edges now. Jaden. You're our 98th call. Hey, it's Jack. Big news. Tiny Tacos are now at Jack in the Box. But you just won tickets Try to... 15 for 3 bucks or loaded for 4 bucks. Delivered exclusively with Uber Eats. But... Plus tax. Limited time only. Price of participation well, may vary. Delivery fees, other terms apply. 
At the Total Wireless Store, we think those big wireless carriers are getting a little carried away. How can they call it unlimited if their coverage is so bad? The Total Wireless Store has the answer. An unlimited plan for $15 a month on a great network. It's unlimited talk and text with data you can actually use. The Total Wireless Stores have the best deals in wireless under one roof. Unlimited plans starting at $15. The best network for you and the latest smartphones at great prices. Visit stores.totalwireless.com to find a store near you. $15 unlimited plan provided by Go Smart Mobile. See stores for details. Please refer always to the latest terms and conditions of service at stores.totalwireless.com.
Do I like to party? No, not really. I'm not, I'm more of a party pooper type of guy. I like to stay home, stay in. Cross mountain ranges, split cells. Command the tools of tomorrow. We are a team of a million unique and powerful individuals. Join forces with us, and you can take on anything. What's your warrior? Find out at GoArmy.com. Is there going to be a new batch of the bike with Kirk? Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> and the reason why is those... Damn molds, they, the molds took us like, I don't know, the molds took us, uh, it, f it feels like it took us about a year, at least six months to make those molds, and then now they're, they're now they're ruined, so we're never ever going to do that again, it was way too much work, but thanks for, uh, words though, but you, but 
you like it. Just my, my heart can't handle that kind of a project. returns here. Can go for some shrubbery maybe. I noticed that a lot of people that come come over here to s for school, are like, oh, do you, do you wanna? What do you think about the good old USA? You wanna stay here longer? And they're like, no, going back home. See you later. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like the US used to be a you know, like a place where people would want to stay and live, but now it's like less and less. Now everybody's just laughing at us. Yeah, you should come and take classes. I think even if, yeah, just come for classes and then go back home. It's worth it. I mean, yeah, there's jobs, but you can do freelance. I, I mean, a lot of people here do freelance anyway.
maybe you'll come and you'll do school and then you might find something else. I don't know. Just never know what will happen. Like something that's not animation or... Yeah, I don't know. dealt with CGMA so I can't say but I think they have some good quality teachers there so I'm guessing it's I'm guessing it's good I haven't heard anything bad about them so they're probably doing a good job
At U.S. Bank, we believe hard work works. That means working late nights to crush tomorrow's meeting works. Making a budget and trying to stick to it works. And saving today, tomorrow, and the day after to afford that first home, that works too. No matter the goals, we have the tools, expertise, and people to help you all along the way. Visit usbank.com slash hard work to see how we can help you reach your goals. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Weekends just got better with brunch at Yard House. Join us Saturdays and Sundays to enjoy our delicious brunch menu with over 10 new dishes featuring our signature avocado toast, breakfast burger, and savory bread pudding French toast. Also, enjoy $15 bottomless beverages, including mimosas, house beers, and spicy Bloody Marys. To find a Yard House serving brunch near you, visit yardhouse.com. I'll just leave that. Those dots, I think they're kind of cool.
good triangle. Good triangle. Looks like that makes more sense. update up to yeah oh uh, well, well actually no because switch no i'll just say no it's not but there are hotkeys up so if you have a keyboard you can use your just press all the keys and you'll see what they do main things is like space bar control shift I think this one's almost there. God damn, this thing took forever. How long has it been? Hour and fifty, shit. Alright. Oh man, Colby, I have to think about that. I'm not much of a if I can handle the responsibility of being a senpai. Sounds really complicated. Um, yeah, thanks Mars. I'm excited. So, today was the first test of the pressure and heavy paint rough version of pressure sensitivity in here. I think it's working so far. I noticed like a couple little bugs where it would go um, berserk a few times, but um, it was mostly fine. Uh, it's only working on Windows though, that's the problem, so I need to figure out how to get this to behave on, oh, whoa, on iPad and Android. I think the iPad canvas is smaller because of color box. Um, it shouldn't be. It should be the same for any uh, for color or sliders or anything. If you could just record a video of what's happening and send it to me, um, 
Just email it to me and I'll try to take a look, but I don't see what would cause that to become bigger. Let's see, pulling it. Here, you can email me a video there. Is there any chance to see you work in PS? Nope. I... Actually, I didn't have Photoshop on this computer for the longest time, but Michelle just installed it because she needs it for her class. Um, but, yeah, I don't like painting in Photoshop. I mean, I, I have some Photoshop videos way back, but you have to go in the archives. so much to look at the picture really really small in a thumbnail because then you can immediately see all the problems. You ever like do a painting and then you post it online and then right after you post it you're like oh shit I messed this up and this up. I think it's because the picture is way smaller so you can see. At CVS Minute Clinic, you don't need an appointment. Just walk in. Got a sprain? Limp in. Feeling crummy? Shuffle in. For affordable care that fits your schedule seven days a week, just walk, wiggle, or wander in All to right. CVS Minute That's Clinic. That's it. Restrictions apply. See I'm done for, details. for tonight. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. I'll try to be a little bit less sleepy next time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, have a good day. Especially you people that are just waking up right now. See you next time.